In this video, we're diving into how to set up lead stages and deal pipelines inside Zoho CRM. So your sales process is actually something you can track and improve. What's going on everyone? My name is Eric Hunsaker and on this channel, we cut through the fluff to help you make smarter business decisions with better tools. Let's get into it. What is Zoho CRM? Zoho CRM is a cloud-based customer relationship management software designed to help businesses manage and organize their interactions with customers and prospects. It provides a centralized platform for sales, marketing, and customer support teams to track leads, manage deals, automate tasks, and analyze their performance. Some of the key features include lead management and tracking, deal pipeline management, contract management, sales forecasting, automation of workflows, reporting and analytics, and integration with other business tools, especially from the Zoho suite. Why Zoho CRM's lead and deal setup matters. If you've ever felt like leads are falling through the cracks, or you're constantly wondering what the next step step is with a potential client, then customizing your lead and deal pipeline can completely change the game. Now out of the box, Zoho gives you a basic sales flow, but if you want it to actually reflect how your business runs, you'll want to tweak it. So in this tutorial, we're walking through every step that you need to build a clean, usable lead deal flow in Zoho CRM. Now, first things first, if you don't have a Zoho account, we'll have a link for you down in the description where you can go ahead and get started for free. Just click the link down below in the description and click on get started for free to sign up. All right, after you go ahead, and get signed up, you'll be brought right here. And it's just gonna ask you for your company name, phone number, and employee count. And we'll go ahead and have it load that sample data and get started. Step one, customize your lead stages. Now, first off, we need to clean up the lead module. When you log into Zoho CRM, head over to the setup icon. It looks like a little wrench and screwdriver. And then choose modules and fields. Click on leads. From here, you can customize the field called lead status. These are the stages a lead goes through before for becoming a deal. You might see default statuses like contacted, qualified, or junk. It's fine to start with, but if you want more control, hit the pencil icon and rename or remove what doesn't make sense for your process. You can also reorder these stages to match how you naturally move through a sale. And always remember to save your changes. So let's come over here to the setup button and we'll go ahead and click on that. We're looking for modules and fields under customization. So we'll go ahead and click on that. We'll go ahead and click on leads. Okay. So so once you navigate to here, this is where you can go ahead and change the properties. So if you wanted to go ahead and add something in here, you could add this in and be like, you know, what call this whatever you want. My new custom status. And then here you can either set it to open, not qualified or junk. I'll go ahead and leave this to open for now. Now I can go ahead and hit done, click save. And now when I come back here and I go to leads, I can go ahead and select the lead, open it up and here at lead status. Now we have my new custom status and click the little check. And that's how you can go ahead and change the lead status. Step two, convert qualified leads into deals. Once you've got a solid flow for your leads, the next big milestone is converting them into a deal. In Zoho, when you move a lead to a qualified status, you can convert it. This takes the data from the lead record and creates a connect, an account if you're using B2B structure and a deal. Click the convert button inside a leads profile. From there, you'll be prompted to map that lead into the new records. Make sure you fill out the deal name. You can customize these deal stages too, which we'll do next. So from this lead right here, we can go ahead and click on convert. And then here we can create a new deal for this account, which we'll go ahead and do. We'll go ahead and put in the amount here for $1 million. Deal name, we'll call this my big new deal. Closing date, we'll put the end of this week and status we'll put close one campaign score will leave blank and we'll go ahead and click convert sweet step three set up your deal pipeline to customize your pipeline go back to setup modules and fields and click on deals now scroll down to the field called stage this is your sales pipeline here you'll see a list of stages like qualification needs analysis proposal negotiation closed one and closed lost you can rename these, delete the ones you don't need, or add your own. You might want to split these out more. For example, maybe discovery call complete, pricing shared, follow up, in progress, verbal confirmation, signed contract. Zoho also lets you set a deal probability for each stage, basically a rough guess at how likely the deal is to close. This affects your forecasting reports. Set your most optimistic stages at 80 to 90%, and early ones like a discovery call complete at maybe 10 or 
20%. Save your changes and exit. Okay, so to go ahead and set that up, we'll come back to our setup here and click on that little gear icon. And under this module in fields, we're gonna click on deals. We'll go to fields and we'll look for stage. So we'll go ahead and click create and edit fields. We'll click on stage and we can go ahead and click the little dots over here. Now, when I go ahead and open up the stage probability mapping, this is it automates everything we just talked about. So it'll change the stage name. You can set its probability here. So again, like we said, you know, something like a qualification will have a lower probability like 10% versus something like proposal or price quote set at 75% and obviously something like closed one set to 100 and closed loss set to zero. Now in your forecasting, it's going to take the deal amount, multiply it by this probability and give you your forecast. So if you need to add anything here, it's super easy. All you need to do is click on the little plus sign next to one that's already here. Call this my new stage, whatever you want to call it. Give it a percentage probability, select a category. And as long as this is open, I think it'll default to pipeline. If we go closed one, it'll put closed. So yeah, that's kind of automatic. You can override it, but I think its settings there are good. So go ahead and click done and save your changes. Step four, use views and filters to manage deals. So now that you've got your pipeline set, it's time to use it. Go into the deals module. You'll use your pipeline laid out as cards that you can drag and drop between stages. This visual layout is huge for staying organized. If someone hasn't moved in a while, you'll spot it instantly. You can also create custom views. Maybe you wanna see only deals above $5,000 or only deals assigned to you. Click the filter icon and build your view based on fields like stage, amount, or owner. This makes it way easier to zero in on what matters most each day. So we'll go ahead and back out of here and we'll go into the deals module. So we'll click on modules and we'll click on deals. Now this is where we can go ahead and drag and drop different deals to go ahead and move them around. We've got my big new deal that I went ahead and created. Maybe it actually fell through. We can move that over to lost and click save, but actually maybe we did win it. So we'll move it back here and we'll go ahead and click saved. They were kind of a tough customer had to win them over, but we got them. Now you can also create some custom views here. So if we come up here, we can go ahead and click this little button here to go ahead and edit things. So this is how we can go ahead and filter things. So, you know, maybe we can go ahead and add some more fields that we want to see here. Maybe like lead source, we'll go ahead and add that, click save. So to go ahead and create a custom filter, we click this top left button here and that'll open up the filters on the left hand side here. So maybe we want to filter by closing date and we'll go aging in two days, click on apply filter and we can see how this filters everything out that doesn't fit that criteria. Now, maybe we wanted to go ahead and filter by amount and maybe we'll say everything that is greater than 500,000 and we'll go ahead and click apply filter. So there's a 45,000, 250. These should all go away if we click apply filter and it does and we will see my big new deal in there. And yeah, that's how we can go ahead and filter views. Step five, automate stage movement. Optional, but powerful. Now, if you wanna take this even further, you can set up a workflow rule to move deals or leads automatically based on triggers. Just go to setup, automation, and workflow rules. So here's an example of where you'd use this. When a lead status is updated to qualified, you could trigger an email to the sales team or even auto convert the lead to a deal. Automations keep the process flowing, especially when your team gets busy. Step six, use blueprints for complex sales processes. Zoho has another tool called blueprints. This is basically a way to force a specific process to happen step by step. It's like taking your pipeline and locking in the order of actions. For example, after a call is marked complete, the next action becomes send proposal. Once the proposal is marked sent, only then can the deal move to negotiation. Each step can have required fields, approvals, or tasks. Blueprints are great for bigger teams where consistency matters or if you want to make sure that no steps are skipped. Step seven, review progress with dashboards and reports. Now, finally, once you've got data flowing in, you'll want to start using Zoho's dashboards to keep an eye on performance. Just go to the analytics tab and create custom reports. You can build charts like deals by stage, win rate by rep, lead conversion rate, time spent in each deal stage, and dashboards help you spot slowdowns, high performing reps, and stages where deals tend to die. And because you've customized your lead and deal stages, the data you see will actually reflect your real world process, not just generic stats. So that's how you set up lead stages and deal pipelines inside Zoho CRM. We walked through customizing the lead module, converting qualified leads, building your pipeline, filtering deals, automating tasks, and using dashboards to 
say on top of everything. The goal here isn't to make things more complicated. It's to build a system that actually supports the way your team works. So take a few minutes to map your real sales processes on paper first, then bring it to life inside of Zoho. Now, if you wanna get started with Zoho, we'll have a link for you down in the description where you can go ahead and get started for free. This is an affiliate link, which means we earn a small commission when you use it at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using it, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we provide in-depth reviews and comparisons of different SaaS tools to help you find the best software solutions for streamlining your business and boosting your productivity. So be sure to subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you here in the next video. Thank you.